Texas coach Daryl Royal has called today's traditional after Thanksgiving game with A&M the toughest since he's been at Texas, and he's been there 19 years. Indeed, for Texas and A&M fans, today's game was a clash only to be surpassed in stature by the Texas OU game or a bowl game bid. And the off-the-field rivalry is almost as fierce as that on the field. Take, for example, Eddie Dominguez, restaurant owner and Aggie sympathizer. He's bet a thousand pounds of chili meat on the outcome of the game with restaurant owner and Texas fan Pete Dominguez. Or there's H.R. Bright. He has the score of the last A&M victory over Texas in tile on his bathroom wall. But the strangest animal of all on a day like this is what I'd call an Aggie horn. Rob Spencer is one. For him today is one of mixed emotions, for he is both an Aggie and a Longhorn. Most people say once you're an Aggie, you're always an Aggie, and uh, I tend to disagree. <laughs> I like Texas. I went to see the Aggies, and they really got down on my case. I almost got rolled in a bar for staying up, yelling hook em horns, but, you know, that's <laughs> Aggies tend to get a little, little irate about people from Texas, and they definitely call me a tea sipper and the whole program. And I still get the ribbon from my, you know, my relatives who are Aggies in the whole program. And, uh, but, you know, I, they're all good friends. I guess it's a dangerous life, huh? Yeah, I don't go to Bryan very often. They say once you've gone to either Texas or A&M, when a day like today comes along, you know your allegiance. But Rob Spencer says even though he's loyal to the orange and white, the Aggie war him still sends chills up and down his spine. Betty Hoover, Channel 8 News.